Hello there, welcome to our cinematic rendezvous. I am genuinely thrilled to have each and every one of you here with me today as we embark on an exciting journey through the world of film. With a quarter century of cinematic exploration, it's both an honor and a pleasure to serve as your guide on this thrilling adventure. Today is an especially exciting day because we're diving deep into one of the most pulse-pounding thriller movie collections of all time, the Saw Movie Collection. So, fasten your seatbelts, because we're in for a spine-tingling experience. The Saw Movie Collection is a true gem in the cinematic universe, renowned for its gripping narratives, nail-biting storytelling, and its knack for keeping audiences on the edge of their seats. It's a collection that has left viewers around the world gasping for breath, thanks to its suspenseful plots and deep exploration of the human psyche. Our spotlight today is firmly on the very first installment of this hair-raising franchise, Saw, which made its mark on the silver screen in 2004. This film, my friends, marked the beginning of a horror-thriller phenomenon that continues to captivate and terrify audiences to this day. Now, let's meet the extraordinary individuals who breathe life into Saw. The stellar cast includes the immensely talented Carrie Elwes, the creative force Lee Huanel, the unforgettable Danny Glover and brilliant actor, the mastermind of the game Tobin Bell. Their performances in Saw added layers of complexity to the characters, cranking up the suspense and intrigue to dizzying heights. But before we dive into the intricacies of this masterpiece, let's take a look at what the world thinks. IMDb, the ultimate authority when it comes to film ratings, has bestowed upon Saw an impressive IMDb 7.6 rating, cementing its undeniable impact and significance in the world of cinema. I invite you to join the conversation. Share your thoughts, insights, and questions in the comments below. Your perspective is invaluable as we dissect, discuss, and savor the brilliance of Saw. The film begins with photographer Adam Faulkner, Lee Huanel, waking up in a bathtub filled with water. He panics, flailing instinctively, accidentally pulling the plug and revealing a mysterious glowing object washed away by the draining water. Amidst Adam's cries for help, the room's lights flicker on, revealing surgeon Dr. Lawrence Gordon, Carrie Elwes, on the other side. Both men are chained in a grimy, dilapidated industrial bathroom, with a lifeless body between them. They discover envelopes in their pockets containing microtapes, and Gordon also holds a bullet and a key that doesn't unlock their shackles. The tapes, with a distorted voice, set the rules, kill or be killed before six o'clock. Hacksaws are found in the toilet tank, intended for their own ankles. Flashbacks reveal the jigsaw killer's past victims, marked by jigsaw puzzle P-shaped skin cuts. Detectives Tap, Danny Glover, Singh, Ken Leung, and Carrie, Dina Meyer, investigate, naming the killer the jigsaw killer. In another flashback, Amanda Young, Shawnee Smith, a survivor, reflects on her life-changing experience. Tap and Singh's illegal break-in reveals a terrifying trap. A chase ensues, resulting in Singh's gruesome death and Tap's deep knife wound. His obsession with the case leads to his discharge from the police force. Back in the bathroom, Gordon and Adam discover a hidden camera. A flashback shows Gordon's last moments with his family and their abduction. A chilling choice awaits as they find a box with poisoned blood and a note. Gordon and Adam attempt to fool the camera with an unpoisoned cigarette, but it triggers a shocking revelation. A phone call reveals Adam's knowledge of Gordon's secrets. As the clock strikes 6 p.m., Allison tries to free herself but is overpowered. Shots ring out, drawing Tap's attention, who wounds Sap. In desperation, Gordon follows the killer's instructions, severing his foot and shooting Adam. Zepp enters the bathroom, claiming Gordon is too late. Adam, thought to be dead, emerges from the shadows and kills Zepp. 
Gordon seeks help as the film's climax unfolds. Adam searches Zepp for a key but finds another microcassette player. The dead man in the room springs to life, revealing himself as John Kramer, Tobin Bell. John informs Adam of the key's true location. Adam reaches for a gun but is shocked with electricity. The film concludes with John sealing Adam in the bathroom, leaving him to despair. As the screen fades to black, John's chilling words linger, most people are so ungrateful to be alive. But not you. Not anymore. The film ends with Adam's despair echoing over the end credits. I invite you to join the conversation. Share your thoughts, insights, and questions in the comments below. Your perspective is invaluable as we dissect, discuss, and savor the brilliance of Saw. Until our next cinematic encounter, happy viewing, and remember, the thrill has just begun.